Hello there, this is Micros from Gama Sutra, and today I'm exploring the Outer engine uh, from a Slovakian team. It's, uh, it's basically a 3D planetary engine that aims to produce seamless planet rendering. Uh, so to put that in uh, easier to digest terms, the idea is that you can um, essentially zip along the surface of this planet and uh, it's going to immediately uh, load the surroundings uh, in high quality wherever you go. Uh, and this is an entire planet that is being rendered, not just part of one. Uh, all so sort of, you know, so that I can just move seamlessly from one part of the planet to another. Uh, so as you can see, it's um, it's fairly impressive. Uh, it's more impressive when I go around the green areas rather than these uh, horrible brown ones. But what I can do here now is, which makes it just that little bit more impressive, is actually just um, zoom outwards. And this is where you really get to see um, what the engine is capable of. So as you can probably gather, I've now entered space and uh, I can see the entire planet just around here and that is the entire planet that's being rendered and the idea is that what I can then do is I can choose a random spot and begin zooming back in again and as I do so level me out as I enter the atmosphere and whoa there we go a bit too fast there but uh, yeah as you've probably gathered <laughs> uh, I can then zoom all the way back in and now again I can see in each individual uh, blade of grass which is kind of amazing really. Um, so uh, the other cool feature about this is that uh, the engine can actually use uh, real satellite data or just any planet data it's given to render a planet. So this is actually um, the Earth. Uh, obviously it's a little bit different since it doesn't have um, man-made structures etc on it. but uh, what you can actually do is um, hit G and it will load up Google Maps and uh, <laughs> Google Maps will show me exactly where I am on Earth at this point in time. Uh, so from what I understand the idea is that once the engine is complete, it's in the alpha stages at the moment, but once the engine is complete uh, it's going to be licensed out to other so to game developers who will then be able to use this technology for their games. Um, I mean, when I was talking to a developer, he was discussing how potentially maybe a studio could use it for a planet-wide strategy game, where you could, you know, zoom out, uh, look over the different forces and battles and wars that are going on around the world, and then zoom back in and, uh, and you know, pick up from where you left off in one specific area. Uh, there's actually a number of studios who are already playing around with the engine and working out what it can do. Uh, so there's um, a team that is working on well, it has worked on, should I say, uh, working the world of Middle Earth into the engine. Uh, you can actually go and download that uh, for free now, as you can download this tech demo as well. And uh, you can uh, look around the world of Middle Earth, of course, from you know Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit. Um, so yeah, again, this is this is out error, and uh, you can go and grab a tech demo now for free. You can pay money for the full alpha as well which allows you to do some other little bits and pieces I mean there's some cool features of this but certain things are locked out like traveling by water and air and building objects um, but, uh, but overall it's very impressive indeed uh, so if you head over to Gama Sutra now you can actually read the full interview with the developer <laughs> 